Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. You've come so far on this path of self-discovery, self-realization. And that which is being released will soon be replaced with manifestations of wonderful new experiences. So I want to remind you today to awaken some a bit of excitement for what's coming. Because, you know, as we're releasing something old, we may be influenced a bit uh, with those heavy energies, with something negative which may come to the surface. And until now, we were talking a lot about it, right? With yesterday's full moon, we we're talking a lot about uh, cleansing and the presence of a bit heavier energy. So it's important to raise our energies here and to also remind ourselves of all the growth and how far we've come and and how much we are actually learning and transforming and being more aligned with our true selves. So stay true to yourself and keep your head up to what sparks the most curiosity and joy at this point. So truly think about what sparks the most joy right now, what you're joyful the most right now, because you know sometimes or often we do things which we just do automatically, out of a habit. But if we really reflect our behaviors a, real, a little bit, we may recognize that we're not joyful about the same things we were before. Our energy is changing, our heartfelt desires may speak louder, which means that on that co conscious level we may recognize that our desires are changing. What we want to have in the past is just not what sparks that uh, sense of inspiration for us anymore. Maybe there's something completely else that we feel attracted to right now. So truly stay true to yourself and keep your head up to what sparks the most curiosity and joy at this point. If you understand that as you're growing, uh, many of your behaviors are changing and many of your internal sensations are becoming louder, like your intuition is becoming louder, your sense for for joy is becoming like, or actually the need for joy is becoming more important. So always follow that. And I want to remind you that you're on the fast track to receiving great rewards for all of your previous efforts. So you may went through many hard things and and maybe at this point you may recognize that whatever you went through actually taught you really, really valuable lessons. And once you truly acknowledge the value of these lessons, your energy will, will rise much higher and you will become more magnetic. Because often the problem is that we just don't see values around us. We don't see values in the things we are facing with. And therefore, we fall into that lower state of judging everything as good and bad. But once we actually find out that whatever we are facing with, whatever we are dealing with, actually it is offering us valuable insights, valuable wisdom. And once we are able to see it, we are able to perceive what was once unseen. And once we are able to perceive what was once unseen, we see more than ever before. And once we see more than ever before, we can acknowledge more than ever before, right? We can learn more than ever before and we can embody more than ever before. And that's where the transformation is happening. We're letting go of that limited perception and limited perspective. And we're expanding that perspective now as we are releasing the old. So do not fear, doubt or dismay because it's all an illusion. Remember yesterday I said what I've learned about, about myself when I'm experiencing the self-doubts. I've learned to not trust my mind when I'm not in peace with myself. So my priority is to get firstly in peace and harmony with myself. And then I will ask myself, is that really? Is that true? Do I really want to believe that? Is there something I need to learn in those thoughts or in those um, realizations or whatever is coming to the surface? 
or whatever, is there something valuable for me right now? And I set some intentions and, you know, every time we set intentions, we'll receive answers. The answers will come to us. And I just want to remind you, when things are unclear, just use some intentions. You know, that's a simple step towards gaining greater clarity. We're also today in September 11th, and you know this master number is actually on the edge between greatness and self-destruction. So this is truly powerful number because it reminds us of that transformation that is happening. As we are learning more about ourselves, we are also destructing the identity of our old identity or old self um, or old limited self uh, perception. So greatness is being born when you release what is not serving you anymore. So it's a potential for growth, stability and personal power. And it help, helps us to, to in tune with that intuitive voice which is always showing us the right way. So that's why it's so important to recognize that when something feels unpleasant, it's only unpleasant because we've been so attached to a certain limited idea about ourselves. And in order to experience greatness, we need to overcome that limitation, right? And to overcome a certain limitation means that we pause ourselves and we actually recognize how much limited we are, how much limited our life's experiences were. For example, we may think, let's say about income. We may have an idea that in order to, to save enough money to buy a certain wanting thing, we need to go to our work for that amount of days to save that amount of money. And that is a certain limited way of looking on life because we could learn something new, we could find a new source of income, we could um, start working on certain skills which could help us to make more money in certain new areas. You know, there are infinite different ways. As at the beginning when I started my art journey, the only idea that I had about making money was selling my original paintings. Then later I've noticed, well, there's many different ways and I've started selling prints of my art, I've started uh, putting my paintings onto phone cases and making stickers and making shirts and pil uh, pillars and covers, uh, different, you know, different kinds of things. And that's where I've noticed, well, we actually just need to expand our knowledge, our minds, and our experiences in this physical dimension will expand. And that's where I've learned, well, I was so limited. And it's not just related to money, you know, when I've started thinking, am I limited in my relationships? Am I actually limited in my relationship with myself? Is there something, you know, certain like other aspects of myself I need to expand because you know sometimes we think that health of our bodies is just related to nutrition or to um, how active we are but it's also related to our mindset and our emotional health and emotional intelligence and again that may be something new for us and to understand that we may realize well again we need to learn something new so, as we're moving through those this, through this processes, we are destructing the old ideas of ourselves and of how we think that life works. So, it's important to talk about this, to be reminded that about those things, because at some point we know that, but we tend to forget it because most people around us are maybe not on that level or are just not interested in that. And we think that however other people live, that's norm, that's something normal, and that's how we should live. And sometimes we just feel we are different, and because maybe our environment is not supporting who we want to be or who we feel that we are, we may feel kinda pushed out. We may feel like black sheep, and that's where people experience lower self esteem and lower self worth, because when we feel kinda being different, 
we sometimes feel like there's something wrong with us. But what if you're just going through awakening? What if you were born just a bit more awakened than others? And it doesn't mean like you're then better than others or, or whatever, but it just means that you are different. And you've decided to not follow the certain norms of society. You want to find your deepest potentials. You want to experience what else life has to offer. You want to fully embody everything that sparks joy in you. You want to feel what your greatest potentials may feel like on this physical level. You want to try different things. And you may notice that most people are just not interested in that. And it's all okay, you know, we are discovering ourselves. And as more and more people right now are moving through these different phases of spiritual awakening, so many people are actually noticing, well, I just don't want to live my life the way I was living my life. I just don't want to be who I was in my past. And that's where we start destructing that paradigm of... of what is, you know, how we should be, how we should think, how we should behave, all those shoulds. And we embody that greater curiosity. What else can bring me that sense of joy? What else can help me to be more inspired, to be more creative? And what else can help me to actually remember who I am? Because sometimes we need something, right? Sometimes we read a book and it suddenly explains us something we felt for such a long time, but we, we had no words to explain it, right? Sometimes we hear something uh, somewhere and it just, you know, clicks. Oh, that's what I was feeling for such a long time and I thought there's something wrong with me. But actually, I'm just more awakened maybe. Actually, I'm just, you know, interested in different things and it's all okay to be unique, you know? Sometimes we, we measure our self-worth and that's the biggest mistake because there's, there is no tool to measure something that is so infinite and so unique. So stop measuring your self-worth. And once you truly understand that self-worth can't be measured, you will experience the greatest possible sensation of feeling worthy. And once you feel worthy, once you truly feel that you are all that you need to be, that you are all that you truly need to be, you will notice that you don't need to pretend to be somebody. You don't need to act as somebody else. You will actually just want to be yourself. And suddenly people will notice your uniqueness. People will notice your bravery and your truth. Doesn't matter what you say, they will read your energy while you're doing something on yourself, something that is truly making you, your glow on your face, you know, your, your, vibrant uh, energy is just uh, it just feels really really great to, to to be around you and and that's something truly powerful something truly inspiring and i love to see people that are doing something like that because this is like being an example of how being true to yourself is acting, behaving, and, and thinking, how it feels like, seeing yourself as you're embodying your truth, how it feels like, how it looks like, and, and being that uh, example of that is something truly beautiful. So, my friends, this is it for today. Stay true to yourself, keep following whatever sparks curiosity, whatever sparks joy, so this is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting. I'm sending you all much love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day. Until next time, one love.